Hi, this is Toby with HMC Electronics. We're going to be taking a look at the different types of static dissipated, anti-static, and static shielding bags. We're going to start by taking a look at your regular poly bag. Weakness of this poly bag is if I rub it, if it comes in contact with something, it will generate a charge. Hundreds, in some case up to a thousand volts. So obviously not good for an ESD environment. Next step up, your pink, I couldn't find a bigger one. This giant pink poly bag. Uh, this pink poly bag will not turbocharge. It can be rubbed against something else. It will not generate a charge. So it's a good intermediary. The problem with a pink poly bag is that people think that it is truly an ESD safe product. If I put a product in here that is sensitive to static, and then I take this product in this packaging into an area where it could come in contact with static, this does not shield, this does not cage or protect that product from a static charge being introduced. You could actually still zap the product inside the bag because this is not creating a cage, it's not creating a Faraday cage. So, uh, fine to use in an area where the product in here is not sensitive to ESD, but perhaps you don't want to have a poly bag that could have hundreds or thousands of volts on it. Uh, fine for document holding, although we do have some other options for that, but not a great idea if you're holding something that is static sensitive. The metallized static shielding bag would be used in the instance that you wish to protect something from any sort of ESD event, any static charge, any chance of it being zapped. The difference between this and the pink poly bag is this has a metallized layer, a Faraday cage is created when you put a product in here and then you seal that bag. What that means is that no charge can penetrate it. If you have this product and a person has a charge on them and they touch this bag, the item inside is safe. It won't turbocharge, obviously, there's no fear of this bag generating a charge. So if you have something that needs to be transported from an ESD safe environment, to a non-ESD safe environment, and then back into an ESD safe environment, this would be your, your product of choice to protect the inner, the inner product. Going back to uh, the holding of documentation, as I mentioned, the pink poly bags are sometimes used for holding paperwork, something where the product in the bag is not susceptible to any ESD charge, but you cannot introduce packaging that would generate a charge. Uh, the shop travelers and document holders that we offer are a great alternative to the pink poly bags in so much as these are actually static dissipated. They are kind of an in-between of the metal shielding and the pink poly. So not only is this not going to generate a charge, but if it comes into an area where there is a charge, it will dissipate. And that's a, an added benefit, an added feature with these. So if you are looking for something to hold paperwork, and perhaps you're already using the pink poly, you may want to consider moving up to something that is actually a static dissipative over its surface rather than just anti-static. So to wrap up, we've got three different options of protection, ESD protection. If you have any further questions, you're welcome to reach out to us here at HMC Electronics or browse our website and you'll find a full range of pink poly, shop travelers, and also the metal shielding bags.